Has anyone noticed that Kamala cheated at the airport? There was nobody at the plane, and she AI'd it and showed a massive crowd of so-called followers. But they didn't exist. She was turned in by a maintenance worker at the airport when he noticed a fake crowd picture. But there was nobody there. Later confirmed by the reflection of the mirror-like finish of the vice presidential plane. She's a cheater. She had nobody waiting, and the crowd looked like 10,000 people. Same thing is happening with her fake crowds at her speeches. This is the way the Democrats win elections, by cheating. And they're even worse at the ballot box. She should be disqualified because the creation of a fake image is election interference. Anyone who does that will cheat at anything. What the f Yo, yo, he's losing his f***ing mind, bro. Dude, this is not good. There's nothing funnier than one of the most, like, media-focused, televised events. Like a f Michigan campaign rally like Tim Pool is shitting on him <laughs> Ian Miles wrong what is going on bro Ian Miles wrong and Tim Pool are like bro what are you doing bro like what are you doing <laughs> Kamala's crowd at the airport was in fact real you can claim they're paid actors or that they're just there for a concert but they're definitely not AI bro you can't when will Republicans learn this is what I tell you all the time about flat earth, okay? At least the earth feels and looks flat. Anything beyond that, if you are demanding that people refuse to believe what they can see with their f***ing eyes, you're gonna fail. You are going to fail to captivate a broad enough audience. All you do when you do this is basically make your most diehard cult-like fans become extra insane. It's the same with the trans panic. It's the same with the uh, crime panic well crime panic is a little bit uh e easier to sell to the population because they're so prime but like it just doesn't it's so stupid all you're doing is making the people who are in your pocket like really really in your pocket absolutely insane okay <laughs> like this isn't fake man the pick in the question was taken with literally any modern smartphone that uses computational photography which creates weird artifacts it's so up, I could rant for ages on this. You cannot make people believe something that they can verify with their eyes like this. And by that, I mean, by that, I mean, you cannot make like normal people, people in the margins, people who are not super invested in a cult like way in your, in your insane nonsense. Everyone beyond that hears you and sees you do this and go, oh my God, this guy's out of his mind. It's not as freaking advisors as Trump. Stop shifting the blame. This is what his cultists do. What do you think no advisors means? Trump has awful advisors or no advisors? To be fair, Tim kind of ate his ass on this one a little bit because he's literally saying Trump either has like lost the plot on his own or has like bad advisors. I can't believe I'm agreeing with Tim Pool here, but I'm going to give him the W on this because because he's right. Yeah, he was just like he's he is also maintaining the position that Trump might be just like responding to the most insane thing. Way too many videos taken at that rally say the entire crowd was fake. Unfortunately, too many people are on X want to focus on that instead of the real issues. Breaking. It's being reported that every single person at the Kamala rally was paid, carefully vetted, and the majority were flown in. It was invite open and not open to the public. They're all paid actors. Okay, that also doesn't make sense because very famously, there were people in the crowd that were chanting pro-Palestinian chants and Kamala Harris literally failed to deal with that adequately. We also watched that in real time. So what's the argument? That Kamala Harris actually literally paid for pro-Palestinians to come in and yell at her and then show the world that she was ill-equipped at dealing with that moment? Oh my God. Being a right grifter would be so easy because all you would have to do is make an AI image and then say Kamala Harris posted it. It literally says satire on the bottom. I'm not kidding. I think you could convince a lot of these people that the state of Michigan doesn't exist. I'm not even joking when I say this. I think you could convince a lot of these Republican Americans that the entire state of Michigan is made up. These are people who are literally operating with childlike wonderment. They have no object permanence. Like they have devolved into this mushy brained, idiotic hive mind. <laughs> Every day that goes by, I am in awe of how low they can go in terms of demonstrating their lack of mental competence, okay? Every day I'm like, there's no fucking way that they're this stupid. And then I find out, no, they actually are this fucking stupid. Stop whining 
brother, I don't think you understand anything that I'm saying. This is exactly what I mean. This motherfucker says, stop whining because I don't think he understands language. I don't think this person understands like what I'm communicating, what I'm saying in his mind. He thinks, oh, this is a soy libtard. He must be whining. I'm just utter disbelief at how unimaginably stupid Republicans are. If anyone is actually whining, it's the motherfucking former president who is so terrified at the real popular momentum that the Harris Walls ticket has that he is just basically fucking making shit up in a state of utter panic. Look, we caught her with a fake crowd. There was nobody there. Wait, what is this? I think there's one AI image going around, but obviously the crowd wasn't fake. Trump is the Facebook grandpa who saw one fake image and believed it. They're saying the crowd doesn't reflect on the plane. It's making me sad. It's making me sad seeing how fucking stupid people can be. This is what the OG one looks like. See, it's showing no crowds. <laughs> Folks, look, there's nobody there. These posts will only get more people to attend her rallies to piss them off. Yeah, dude, this is a little scary because it shows like genuine like it shows genuine mental uh, illness in a way that I would say Trump had not like Trump has always been insane, but I'm not kidding when I say like this is a new level of insanity, even for Donald Trump. Like he's actually kind of losing it, I think. <laughs> Who knows what happens? 6K likes on TikTok for this one AI thing. This is like. You know what this feels like? It feels like when someone fucking says like, Hassan, be honest, you're doing steroids. It's like, no, but thank you for saying that because it makes me feel good. And this is the same shit where they're like, there's no way Kamala Harris and, and Tim Walls could draw crowds like this. Obviously, this popularity, obviously, this popularity must be fake. And it's like, nah, it's real, man. It's like pretty easy to, to confirm too. Uh, what? Here's my view from inside the corner of the hangar where you can just see the things, the throngs of people outside. The plane after the rally when I was able to walk around to see it and some scenes from some scenes from very people and me, he's lost it. Nah, that's also fake, bro. They're posting AI hot Kamala. These two fake images of Kamala Harris, most likely generated with AI, are being widely shared online. On Facebook, one post has, share, has been shared 87,000 times on X. One tweet has been viewed 3.5 million times. What? Just so everyone knows how she got her start, bro. She just looks hot as fuck. Like what? Why are they making her hot? Like, why are they making her hotter? Are they trying to throw the election? I'm confused. <laughs> oh my God. Boomers are <laughs> gooners for Kamala. Listen, listen, I'm a lifelong Republican. Donald Trump was my favorite president. And I saw Kamala Harris looking like a dime piece. <laughs> I saw her dressed up to the nines. And I thought to myself, God damn, as one fine mamacita. It's all fake, dumbass. Easter Bunny instructs Biden not to talk to the press or public. <laughs> See, Joe Biden's cognitive decline. You can't be president. I drew you hot in my notebook type beat. Yeah. I am going to give you free advice right now. You don't have to listen to me. You might say I'm a fucking communist, socialist with a big house, fake capitalist, whatever the fuck. But this is free 99, $0 advice for you, Mr. President. Listen to me. Do not talk to Donald Trump Jr. until November 5, okay? Don't talk to him ever again. Do not look at his tweets. Do not talk to him. Stop getting advice from Donald Trump Jr. He already fucked you up. He already got you to be locked down with J.D. Vance, and you hate him. You literally called him a fucking loser. Please, Mr. President, former President Donald Trump, the real president of the United States of America, I love you, Mr. President. Please do not listen to Donald Trump Jr. You have to stop. It is really fucking you up, okay? You, many people are saying you have lost your aura, Mr. President. Many people are saying that you are literally, that you're literally losing it, okay? 